a wonderful study that's going to be starting in the next couple weeks, God's at War. How many things do we put before God, in front of God? How many things in our life are more important than God himself? You know, there's a lot of people who love God, and they claim to know God, but God's not first in their life. In fact, that probably describes the majority. Every one of us have a testimony. Every one of us have a testimony. Did you realize that? Do you have a testimony? Do you have a testimony about what God is doing in your life? I want you, I'm going to make sure you're awake. Say, everyone has a testimony. Say, testimony. Say, everyone has a testimony. Everyone has a testimony. I want you to know this. Is we're going to share some testimonies of what God has done. Some of these testimonies are very simple. It's a testimony of something that we've put first. It may be a God that went before the one and only true God. But God's got a hold of our life and shown us something. Everyone has a testimony. And these are simple little testimonies about what God is doing in the work of people right here in liberal Kansas, right here at First Baptist Church in liberal Kansas. Take a minute. And just thank God and praise God for what he is doing. His God is at work. A strong and perfect plea, a great high priest whose name is love, whoever lives and pleads for me. My name is graven on his heart, my name is written on his heart, I know that love in Satan tempts me to despair and tells me of the guilt within of what I look and see in there. Who made an end of all my sin? Because a sinless Savior died, my sinful soul is counted free. God the just is satisfied to look on him and pardon me, to look on him and pardon me.
righteousness, the great unchangeable I am, the King of glory and of grace, one with himself, I cannot die, my soul is purchased by his blood, my life is in with Christ on with Christ my Savior and my God. With Christ my Savior and my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the one who is in
changed lives by the person of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for living a changed life. I believe with what we have seen this morning, God can change a world, don't you? I'm overwhelmed and honored that God would choose to allow me to be a part of what He's doing here. 